Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you the new Office app for your iPad and iPhone. I'll be demonstrating this on my iPad Air 4 and on my iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'll give you a quick overview of the app and how to use the basic features. If you have an iPad where the screen is less than 10.1 inch, then you can create and edit documents when you sign in with a free Microsoft account. iPads which are over 10.1 inch screen, you need an Office 365 subscription in order to create or edit documents in the Office app. This app is a bit different as it combines all three main apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint in one single app. There is no need to download three different apps and to switch between them now. Plus there are additional tools in the app like creating PDF files, transforming pictures into documents and many other tools to increase your productivity. So first let's go over to the App Store and download the Office app from Microsoft. The app will look like this and let's go ahead and download it. Now once it's downloaded, let's open it. So once you open it, you'll be asked to create a new Microsoft account or use an existing account. If you don't have a normal Microsoft account like Hotmail or Outlook account, you can create one for free. You can also log in using your existing work Office 365 account. Since I have a free Microsoft account, I'll tap on use existing account and sign in using my free Microsoft account. Then on the next option, I'll tap on turn on notification. Then tap on allow. Now since this is a free Microsoft account, I don't have any Office 365 subscription with it. I'm using it on an iPad Air 4 where the screen is larger than 10.1 inch. So I will need an Office 365 subscription in order to create or edit documents. If you want to try out Office 365, Microsoft does give you a one month free trial period. So for now, I'll press skip and then it'll take you to the home screen for your Office app. Every time you open the app, you'll see the screen where it shows you your most recent document you have looked at. At the top left, we have your profile photo. If you tap on it, you can sign out from that account or add another account to this app. Then we have the home button. Just below the home, we have action button. These are all the extra features that are available like share files, convert text to image, PDF actions and other miscellaneous actions. Below that, you have your file access where you can open files from your device or from the cloud. Down at the left, we have the subscription button where you can activate your Office 365 if you want to. Below that, you can see all the available apps from Microsoft. Then we have help. And lastly, we have settings. At the bottom right, you'll notice a plus sign. This is where you can create new note, take a picture, or create a new Word, Excel, or PowerPoint document. So in my example, I can only create a new note and take a picture from this app. You can also create documents from the available templates from the app. So let me go ahead and show you how to create a blank Word document. And as you can see, it has opened it up in the Office app itself. So it has not switched or asked me to download a separate Word app from the App Store. This has the same layout as your Microsoft Office on your Windows or your Mac computer. You just need a keyboard and you can start typing a document if you have an iPad screen which is less than 10.1 inch. If this iPad was less than 10.1 inch, I would see an on-screen keyboard where it would allow me to type on it. I'm a bit gutted as to why Microsoft have done this. 
they should allow all users with any iOS device to create or edit Office documents. As you can see, I've tested this on my iPhone 12 Pro Max and you can create and edit Word, Excel and PowerPoint documents for free. You will greatly benefit from this app if you're an Office 365 member or you have an iPad screen less than 10.1 inch like the iPad mini 4 or the 5th generation, the iPad 5th and 6th generation and the iPad Air 2. Hopefully Microsoft lifts the restrictions for iPad above 10.1 inch screen so users can use it for free and see the keyboard. And there you go guys, that was the overview of the new Office app which has just recently been released. Hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.